Namaste everyone. Hope you all are doing great and today in this video I'll show you how you can create and customize this cool looking Nexus dock on your Windows 11. So for that first we will need to uh, download and install Nexus dock and it is available on this website. You can search for Nexus dock on Google and you will uh, you will find this website winstep.net. I will also link it down in the description so that you can uh, directly go from there. So once you are on the web page, you can click on download and it will begin the download as I have already downloaded it. I will just go to my download section. I have here Nexus and I'll just extract it. Now just double click on this Nexus setup. Accept the agreement. Click on next, next, next and click on install. And this shall begin the installation of Nexus stock. Now I check this icon on launch Nexus. Click on finish. And we have this Nexus stock over here. But it does not look cool. We will make this look cool. So first let's get rid of these icons on our desktop. So right click on anywhere on your screen. And click on show more options. Click on view. And uncheck this show desktop icons. So now we have this Nexus dock and clean looking desktop on our PC. So first begin, let's begin with the placement of dock. So you can right click on uh, this Nexus icon and you can choose on screen position and you can choose uh, top screen edge, right screen edge or bottom, bottom screen edge. I'll just click on bottom screen edge and it will be placed on the bottom. So again right click on a Nexus, click on preferences, click on positions here and now let's move it a little further up so click on apply let's move it a little bit up okay so so now let's make uh, our nexus dock more transparent for that we'll need to go to appearance click on dock transparency and increase the transparency to oh uh, like you can also use 100 percent but let's say a uh, 90 percent click on ok click on apply and now we have this transparent dock on Windows 11 now let's uh, remove these uh, icons from here uncheck this display confirmation dialog uncheck this one so let's remove all these uh, docks icons from dock so now I have removed all the unnecessary icons from the dock it's time to add new icons over uh, this dock. So for that we'll need to uh, find all the application, all the shortcuts of, for our application. So we'll, for that we'll need to go to desktop and let's add these one by one. So let's add Notion first. So let's drag it and place it here. Let's drag Obsidian over here. Let's drag another telegram so now I have added all these icons on uh, the Nexus talk now let's add some separator and group these icons on the basis of different category so let me do it right click anywhere on the talk click on insert new talk item and click on separator so let's add two or three separator on this talk So now let's categorize these applications or icons. We have separated these dock icons icons into three parts as you can see. Uh, now I don't like this effect that uh, this, uh, that Nexus dock is generating. So I'm gonna change that. For that I will go to Nexus and click on effects and mouse over mouse over effect. So I can just choose none or a magnify or anything you like. So I'll just choose none over here. Click on OK. And now this will not be uh, changed. There are also different uh, effects that you can choose from. For example, mouse over launch effect. For example, if I launch this application, it will open like this. Now you can also change the size of these icons. So let me show you by
on appearance on appearance and sounds you can also uh, change these different uh, sizes of these icons so as you can see now it uh, the You can also change the size of these icons by going to appearances and sounds dock icon size and let's say I want the 32 by 32 so as you can see now the size is smaller we can also change these different uh, drop shadows you can also change these icons by just right clicking on this and click on dock properties and click on change icon and you can browse icon through your download section 